is Praxis, and I'm here at Red House doing some prep work on some materials that are going to go over to the Homestead build site tomorrow. And I'm using some of my favorite building material of all time, which is salvaged junk. This is all old well pipe. Uh, another neighbor that uh, recently moved into this area, uh, when they got there, there was all this well pipe that had been pulled out of the well. I guess like it had been redone, and the previous people had just left it all there. They wanted to get rid of it, and I was thinking that this could be really useful stuff for me to run an underground water line from the house out to, like, you know, the garden area. Uh, I've already got the pastures and the foundation all ready for it, thought about that. And at this point, I'm just going to have something that kind of runs out, and I'm going to follow what's called the uh, the daylight drain around, around the house. There's a perimeter pipe, a drain pipe that's being put around actually tomorrow, and then there's a, a, a pipe that kind of runs out, so if you, if you ever get a lot of moisture around the foundation, that will run out through this drain pipe, and, you know, to daylight, and then just kind of drain away. And I was thinking about following that course with this stuff, uh, so that uh, pipe comes out of the house, goes out to daylight, and then I'm going to uh, do a little tea at some point, and then kind of run that up over to the garden. And the reason that I want to run it out to daylight is because I'm not going to be burying this so deep underground that it's going to be impervious to frost, and when it comes up, to, you know, to the spigot and everything, obviously all of that is going to be able to be frozen. So I want to set this thing up so that it can drain very easily. So what I'm going to do is make the lowest point in this whole system be uh, uh, out in the daylight area, and I'll just have a little spigot uh, right there. So I'll have that closed most of the year, but then in the fall, when I want to kind of winterize the thing, I can just close it off in the house for the water supply and just open it up down there and the whole thing will just drain out. And I'm going to use this this stuff to do it. Now it was put together in a lot of small pieces. I don't really know what the deal was with that. It's like, you know, some of these pieces are maybe only like 10 feet long or so and they're using these little uh, pipe clamps to hold them all together. Uh, but two of the longest pieces are 30 feet long. So I think I'm going to be able to make it work with those. But I'm just kind of dismantling the whole thing and, uh, you know, getting this stuff ready to be used, you know, in the future if I have other uses for pipe. And one of the great things about this stuff is it cuts really easily. I'm just uh, cutting right uh, back behind these little barbs and get it in here. And it's it's really soft stuff. The saw cuts right through it. And I'm just gonna save all these pieces. Almost. I always go slow at the end so it doesn't like kind of catch and twist. All right, uh, and then that gives me access to, to finish taking off all the rest of these little uh, pipe clamps. Oop, I had it turned down. I think I overheated the battery on this thing yesterday. Actually, go to a lower, uh, there we go. Well, this is really embarrassing for this to be happening on camera. <laughs> go ahead, come on. There we go. Is it? There we go. Get it tightened down again. I just put in a lower gear. These things are really rusted on. So, there we go. So even these things are very useful. I can use all this stuff again. I'm thinking about even this little split thing could be used for, uh, you know, where I branch off from like going to the daylight. Maybe I actually am able to use this. All this, this seems like gross overkill. <laughs> but hey, it's all free. That's it. Thanks for watching.